Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at Tekken 8 multiplayer. I did a video previously looking at the story mode, so I won't go too in depth with everything. The game comes in about 80 gigabytes, and it's already running right now because I'm recording this video right after the last one. So let's just go into it. And like I mentioned in the last video, the game runs pretty well at medium settings for the preset but we're gonna put it on low settings for online, just so we make sure there's the least amount of lag possible. The game does look disgusting, but it's okay. And something else that I mentioned in the previous video is, you probably saw it in the story mode one, but I'm used to playing like this when it comes to Tekken. So we're going to do the Hori fight pad, fighting commander, and hook it up via USB. After many controller configuration mishaps, we're back. For some reason, this fight pad on the Steam Deck, the left and right stick click don't work. I don't know why it's not mapping to Tekken specifically, but we were able to configure everything to work well and use everything that I need to use. So with that being said, I haven't touched online at all yet. I actually wanted to do it with this video. So I haven't made a character, a little person running around, haven't done anything, but we're just gonna do a quick match and when I play, I'm gonna pull this back a little bit just so you guys don't see this the whole time because there's a reflection. So keep that in mind. So it's telling me to fight against the CPU to gauge my skill level. I guess that's fair. Propped it up in a way where you guys can see. Sorry for the jank setup, but I wanna make sure the light is not reflecting off here and you can see the screen more so. So let's go ahead and adjust slightly over. And of course, we're playing Paul. I'll turn it up so you guys can't hear me tapping away. Okay, I did all that just to tell you I'm a beginner, which I already know. Okay, going through all the normal setup options, not options, directions here, connection quality, enable crossplay, let's go with the default. Let's just run Victor to be consistent. I haven't trained with him at all. For the next battle. How annoying is this sound? Okay, and after actually a pretty long time, we found a match. This guy is not a beginner. We'll we'll see how we do. Connection has been lost. Damn. All right, found another match. This one's from America, so hopefully better connection. 
Get ready for the next battle. Hopefully it goes through. Oh no. Oh god. Uh-oh. Get ready for the next battle. We found another person, and I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I'm pretty sure this is gonna disconnect. But let's see. You know the thing where you don't look at the loading screen so it loads faster? I'm just not gonna look at the screen. Is it working? Okay. So far, so good. He has the first round. Unless I somehow, I'm not gonna pull it up, but. Okay. Performance though, it's staying pretty steady. I told you I'll get cooked. Wow, what happened to skill based matchmaking this was, huh? Alright, clean sweep. I'm gonna need them to demote me to junior beginner. We'll rematch. Just to get performance, right? Not so I can get better, because I'm not going to get better. At the moment. And it froze. Come on. Come on. Alright. We found another match. If this doesn't work... God! Alright guys, I could not find another match. I just found that one match that I got worked, rightfully so. But I, I don't know, like I, obviously this isn't something you should be playing competitively with, but I thought that it could handle a little bit more in terms of searching for stuff. And I'm pretty sure it's not the internet. I'll go ahead and do a speed test and I'll put that up here as well. Okay, so let's run a quick speed test. Okay, I think that speaks for itself. The router is literally right here. I have 500 down, 155 up. So I don't think it's the Wi-Fi. I just think it's more related to the Steam Deck trying to handle all that Tekken 8 is trying to do with online matches. Okay, so Tekken 8 multiplayer, do I recommend it on the Steam Deck? No, not at all. I showed before in the previous video, the story mode runs fine. There's plenty of modes on this game that don't require online, even the arcade mode and the quests that they added. There's a lot of stuff that you can play without online. And also it's a great way to practice if you need something portable while you're away from your main system. But I just don't think the Steam Deck is capable of having a reliable service while you're playing. The speed test showed I have really, really decent internet and that shouldn't hinder me from playing online at all and having those connection issues. And I highly doubt it was the other people I was matching with. I think it was just too much for this little thing to handle. But still, I did get into one fight. The performance in the fight was actually really, really good. I didn't feel any input delay. I probably should say I did because I got beat real bad. But no, I didn't. I just, that's a skill issue and I'll get better because this game just came out. Anyway, just want to show you guys that. I apologize that I couldn't get into more matches. I did wait about 20 minutes post that fight and I just couldn't get into anything. So it is what it is. Maybe they'll update it. Maybe they'll have something where it's more compatible for Steam Deck and multiplayer is more friendly. I don't know. If you're going to play online, I recommend playing on something other than the Steam Deck. So that does it for this video. If you guys have any questions, leave it down below. I'll try to answer them. If you guys have any tips, maybe something I didn't do correctly or that will help performance, let me know that as well. If you guys like the video, please drop a like. If you want to support the channel, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye.